All right, guys, here we have a bit of a tricky problem. It says write the equation of the ellipse that satisfies the set of conditions below. And all it tells us is that the foci are at negative 6, 0, and 6, 0, as well as A equals 9. Okay, not very much that they are giving us here, but let's, let's just kind of think through what they do give us. They give us that the foci are at negative 6, 0, and 6, 0. So if I plot those points, just graph those quick. If I go, let's see, there should be points instead. If I go back 6, negative 6, 0, and positive 6, 0, those are equidistant away from the origin, okay? Which means, right, if this is my distance from the, from the center of, this, of the ellipse, the center here is going to be the origin, 0, 0. And that distance between the center and the, um, the foci is 6. That's going to be my C value when I talk about my A, Bs, and Cs later. So it wants us to write the equation of this ellipse. And we know a few of these values already, but we need to figure out a few others. So first off, if we think back through my general form, um, where it's x minus h quantity squared over a squared plus y minus k quantity squared over b squared equals 1, I know it's going to be in this form because along my, um, my, or or my uh, x-axis here is the major axis of my ellipse. I know that because the foci are always on the major axis. All right, so because it's sort of the horizontal way, I know the x has to come first and the a squared is going to be underneath that. So if I kind of take that into account, um, also if I, if I remember that h and k are my center, here this one, instead of having a quantity squared, it's just going to be x squared and it's just going to be y squared. Right, and I would put a squared underneath that, b squared into us equals 1. So really the only things I need to figure out left are a squared and b squared. But uh, to do that, first I need a, which a squared would be 81 in this case if a is 9. The other thing I need is b, and I don't really know that except I can use the fact that a is 9 and c, we found earlier, is 6. So we have to think back to the equation a squared minus b squared equals c squared, all right? a squared minus b squared equals a c squared. And if I fill in these different parts here, a squared is 81. b squared, we don't know, that's what we're trying to find, so minus b squared. And then c squared, well, c is 6, c squared is 36. So if I subtract 36 on both sides and add b squared over, this now gives me, um, let's see, 81 minus 36 is 45 equals, let's cancel, b squared. So the square root of 45 is going to be b. But I don't really even need b. I just need b squared. So I can just take this 45 and pop it right in there. And that is the equation that satisfies this ellipse.